Hey guys, Tartarup here, bringing you a tour today. We are on Wolfies. I'm just spawning in the north. We've got PS3S yes, with US forces, who has urban assault, tactical support, and heavy cavalry. Small knee also with US forces, who has airborne, tactical support, and urban assault. Hmm. No infantry, a little bit unusual for small knee. Anyway, from the other side, we have Alex, OKW, Elite Armored. Overwatch and Firestorm, and finally Furio with Crosshair defensive locked in immediately. Go for two Pyos, machine gun, and two Ostrup. Mm -hmm. Bit of an unusual build there. In terms of rankings, um, let's get them up. Where did I put those rankings? Our forces increase. Okay. PS3, yes. Currently ranked 4. Small knee. Last known rank. 85. Uh, Alex. Current rank 70. And Furio. Last known rank 30. So overall, a bit of an edge for the allies. There's a lot of firepower coming in. Machine gun has to jump out. Could even get decrewed. Maybe with a bit of... Oh, coordination for his teammate. Does get decrewed quite far back. The Pios would lose the squad if he tried to jump on it. This is just so much firepower. Could jump into the building with that rifle as well. Ostrupin gonna win the race. Get onto the machine gun. Ouch. There you go, just got... Uh, Beat down pretty hard there. So a mortar already. Early on from small knee. Battalion just reported pathfinders ready for action. Quick look at the KDs after that. Yeah, three for thirteen after that one engagement. Crowds are taking one Ouch. of our points. A bit of a cutoff attempt. And it works because small knee. Stopped at the uh, cover instead of chasing into the cutoff. So yeah, they've lost control down here. So they weren't connected anyway though. Oh no, they were. So yeah, nice little cutoff. Mark, Reishon and Kubel battling it out on the other side. Looks like the Kubel's going to win this one. He's very conservatively with it backing away. We do have a couple of squads that were maybe looking to intercept, catch it on the way home. And for a Pathfinder, it's kind of like an extra unit protecting for the officer. Definitely a bit of a war for this building. Yes, we just got control of it at the moment, but we do have a pyre rolling up with the flamer. Okay, coming in here with the stern pyres. Took two moles on the way in. Should still have enough firepower to win the fight, but here come the Pathfinders. Makes it too risky for the Sturmies to stay in there. The Flamer coming in. Giving a few decent bursts in. And then suppression kicks in on top of that. Hands are in this now for Furyo. Good territory control right now for the Axis. Get some good harass going. Oh, but he left the capture circle here with this pyre accidentally. Pathfinder's dead at the doorstep there. Wow. Okay. Oh, well, yeah, looking really good for the Axis right now. Jumps back into the fuel. Look at all this <laughs> wiring off shenanigans here. We are losing a sector. 
We're dropping in a 50 cow. On top, they do go for lieutenant, so it's a bit of a strange option. It's not going to be our put. Go ahead. We're ready. Re echelon models on it. I was going to say, it's not going to be able to put Pathfinder models on it to uh, give it the extra vision. Even though they did get nerfed a bit, I mean, you know, it's still viable. We're coming in now. No bazooka on the lieutenant. Probably a good time to retreat if he's got, yeah, his teammate does have healing. If he starts to drop too many models. Let's have a bit of manpower. Okay, big flank coming in here for PS3, yes. Putting some sandbags in front of the machine gun. Interesting idea. Does not have grenades. The way that he stopped there, I thought he was going to wind up for a grenade, but no. Reposition slightly by holding them in place. And there it goes. The cow getting to work. Wow, it's a late M20. We're hitting the field like the eight minute mark really late. Maybe feels like Alex is not going to go for a light vehicle, given that seven and a half minutes in hasn't seen one. Two, two, two on the other side though for Furio. This one also a little bit on the late side. We go for P Rins first. It's Captain from PS3, yes, and he didn't go for video anti-air half track. Maybe he's saving for the quad, but there's no command points for it yet. He's a little bit slower on the CPs than the other players this game. Let's get Let's have out, a boys. double officer tick actually. So yeah, I would expect to be trying for the quad, especially now that the 2 is on the field. Uh, more to fulfill you, that's a bit of a risky choice. It easily could be a light vehicle coming back the other way. So we've got two Fausting squads, no AT gun. Uh, indeed, it is the quad. Stored up enough munitions for that immediate upgrade. Comes, gonna run straight into the Austrian though. So, revealing the situation. The 222 is gonna head over that direction, but you would expect the quad upgrade to be popping very shortly, so. I don't know what she can do right now. And 20 getting to work here. Still not building an AT gun, he's got the manpower for it. Incendiary grenade in. Kissing hunting for the N20, but it's rotated across for the stern pipes. Stu managed to crawl out of the 50 cal fire, but still getting shot at, keeping them down. Kitten lining up. N20's gonna need a smoke here. Wow. No attack round action from Alex. Let off the hook there. Okay, he's chasing in with the quad, but gets around behind the train, blocks the shots. Faust and unit trying to roll up. Remember the Ostrupin did get their Faust range nerfed compared to Grenadiers. They had a two range reduction, right? On the last patches. Standard 15 range instead of 17 range. The enemy is attempting to steal our sector. Close fight over here. Could be a squad wipe. 50 cal lining up. 
uh, took quite a long time to line up the burst. We were quite far back at that stage. So getting some repairs going. Does not have a uh, sweeper or a flame upgraded yet on the squad. Speed up his repairs with that sweeper. Smoke out on the 50, pushing in with the Ostrupen. Up battle phase 2 just started now. Kills so far for the M20. Raketen coming up on top of it. Oh, it got a shot off. Ouch. Couldn't get out of range in time. Could he see that? Maybe he couldn't. Can't remember if the quad was at bit one yet or not. If had the speed boost. Just an ineffective wire off there. You can see if the other side of the door was blocked or not. Not the case. Hard fighting on both sides at the moment. Have a quick look at the KD. Pretty even. Nofurio is still behind. Somehow. I wonder if he's lost a lot of wire or whatever, right? That can uh, show up his losses. Damage on the Kubel. Oh, it survives. Raketen, was that a miss there? Lucky break for the M20. The 222 has fallen though. So the bazooka chased it down over here. And the USAT gun getting a couple shots in through the smoke. Close call on the Stug E. Just about lost it before it had a chance to do anything there. Went for a second flamer, by the way. No sweeper. Interesting. Gonna be relying on vetting up the bios to get the uh, repair rate bonus from that instead of um, the sweeper. Up against US team, you know, not as much of a mind threat, so understandable. These light AT mines, they can catch you off guard and swing the engagement or two. Good machine gun positioning here. Cool wagon with the detection mode active as well. Machine gun having trouble suppressing all of the stuff. Fortunately, is down out the back. Wow. What was that? To a paratrooper grenade, I'm guessing. Off. Oh no! Riflemen down over here. Looks like they were deep, going for a snare potentially. Got some of squad. Caught on the strafe there. Doesn't look like a hit just about anything though. Major coming down, holding on to the left VP. T down one shot. Second shot missing. So far we haven't seen that much sandbag spam from uh, Furio. Can build it. With the Ostrupen as well, with this battle group. So usually players will be spamming wire and sandbags down, but it's got a little bit down, not as much as I was expecting. Struggy so far hasn't really done much apart from get blasted by the AT gun. 
second one has been picked up by P3S as well, so maybe it's going to go for a Calliope first. It's also picking up a uh, reboot on the rifle that he just lost. It has gone for Major, so it could build the tank shortly. I feel like it's going to be the Calliope. Snips away the wire there. Think I'm missing a shot or two. Those on attack grounds, maybe. Carry okay, under some pressure now from the Panzergrens. Getting that uh, boost from being close to a vehicle there for a split second. He can sit down for a shot or two. Oh, runs into that bundle, mate. Looks like it's a Scott from Small Knee. Not a huge surprise on top of Airborne. Re Echelon go down, though. Goes to the Strugi largely. Lost troop and follow up. Jumps into the sturdy cover. Oh, no. Pyo down. Drops the flamer. Getting on the ground here, though. Strupin looking for the D crew. And they're going to get it. And that was the vetted up AT gun as well. It looks like the Stuggy is out. Has to repair it up before return to action. 17 minutes for the Panzer IV. It's okay. Alex, but not incredible. That one is a M20 mine there. He was close to running over. It does have the sweepers, but he's had them put away for quite a while. He shot off there, but look, this vehicle's cooked to back away. Sides probably would have more success on small knee side, honestly, because these three has got those double AT guns over here. This one not having the best luck. Put a smoke out from the Stug. Capping on the edge. Ooh, he could have run in there for a Faust. Where the Rakesson is, though. Okay, here it comes. Wouldn't have got there in time to finish it off, I don't think. And yep, it is indeed the Calliope from PS3. Yes, finally got the manpower together for that. Still has that uh, AT gun back there decrewed as well. The Flamer on the Major. Good hit from the Panzer IV there. Sherman ready to go. Might be lined up. Trying to get some trenches down. Comes the Calliope targeting the machine gun. And that was a really good Calliope. Fast D crew. The AT gun's nearby. It's focused on the Stug E. Not going to be able to finish off the D crew weapon. Either way, strong start, five kills. I left the AT gun behind here, getting blasted by the Ostrupen. Slow getting repairs on the P4. Push 
Finishing it now with the rifles. Get around the side of the machine gun. Try to go for the capture. Pretty even on the victory points right now, both teams. And there's the Jackson. That's going to make life very difficult for Alex. Quad did go down though, remember. So no anti-air right now. Oh, and the rifleman just go down. Got the 1919 with the other rifle. So double E1919. So it's a bit of a throwback. Just to be crazy good with those. And look at the KD again. Looks like PS3 has started to fall behind a little bit. Rio has massively caught up. This AT gun never recovered, by the way. He left it here the entire time. Could now be stolen, perhaps. Calliope just about ready to go. He's in position with it for a short-range barrage. He's bringing the recon plane now. It's a decent idea. The Jackson's coming in, too. So they should be able to hold on to the AT gun, at least. Pack's coming in for it, though. Missing a shot. A Calliope now on the AT gun. Shooting a lot of rockets. We're now kind of dodging into the rockets. This is AT gun decrewed. Unfortunate. The enemy is taking our territory. There it goes. Bring in the sector assault now, Alex. Targeting the Scott. It's low. Oh, and the Panzer IV misses the kill shot. He's going in. Got a bit of a speed boost down the road, but it's not quite enough. Probably need the Blitz on top of that. But there goes the M20 at least. But then he hits the M20's mine on the exit. Oh, no. Yeah, he needed the Blitz. He had the munis for it too. With the Blitz, he probably could have got the Scott, and now Small Me gonna repair the M20 up since it only got abandoned. Might still be able to bring it into action. He's gonna put the re echelon inside, it looks like. So it does have value as a recon unit, it does have the Major as well with the vision from Vet. Oh no, looks like this went down. The uh, LEIG, I think, was barraging this. destroyed one. Oh. Yeah, a decent sector assault overall. Up the uh, access out quite a bit. Directly lead to any vehicle kills, but did a good chunk of damage. Got a quad on the field now for the PCS, so it's not going to be a problem in the future. Okay, there's a whiffer. Good for you. Taking the mortar, but that dodged away quite early on. Probably was already dodging before the whiffer was firing, actually. So it didn't work out too well. Pick up a second Panzer unit there as well for you. I mean, providing a lot of smoke alongside the Panzer Grenadiers is a pretty good idea, really. Especially against LMG riflemen, which otherwise could do quite a lot of damage as the P-Greens try to close the gap. We have the Yag Panzer on the field now for Alex. That's a good choice. You know, probably get a few shots on the Scott here and there. Trade with the Jackson. Try and stay out of range of the AT guns. Returning fire as well. At the moment, focused on killing off all these tank traps. Clearing off the cover. Oh, Major down over here for PS3, yes. Hit three on the Stug, by the way. 15 kills now.
Some new grenade. Team stays out for quite a while. Big Scott shot though. Go Trooper's gonna look for the squad, right? No, they switch over to the Fox Reindeers. Ooh, we're getting missing. Panther on the field now for Furio. Coming through the middle first. No Jackson yet for PS3, yes. Went for a Sherman instead. Still does have that AT gun out the back up for grabs and might need it shortly if this Panther makes a move. So far though, just parked in the middle, not up to much. Allies in control of the VPs right now, but who's in the middle? Sitting at a safe distance. Now walking Stuka from Alex. That's a fine choice. These Werfers are not getting the job done. Zero kills after two barrages. Really bad start. Targeting maybe hasn't been that bad. The scatter has been. Maybe uh, working from a bit too far back as well. Still very close on the victory points, but allies with the triple cap. It just can't allow this to happen for much longer. Lippy's ready to go again. Let's bring in the recon plane to. Try and find a target for it. There it goes, going after the raquette it looks like. The barrage again. The capture point is being overrun. Do you remember that this recon run has a lot of vision? Better than the uh, Eastern Front faction's recon planes. So I was able to see so much. Machine gun. Okay, connection. Quite a lot of damage onto the Scots, so that'll be good for the vet on the walking suit. And nearly vet one off that one barrage. Maybe not quite as many kills as he's hoping for. This infantry starting to take over a bit. Alex doesn't really have a direct answer. It's that machine gun, but that keeps getting forced back. Like right, the Scott. Were for again. Did they miss again? <laughs> Three barrages, zero kills. Oh no. That's it. That's it. Like, that can straight up lose you a match. Definitely in 1v1, I've lost games because my first three barrages have missed. Well, runs into his own tank trap, gets stuck, and goes down to the Jagpanzer. That's a big pickup there for Alex. I mean, uh, his Jagpanzer now can go much more aggressively after the Scots. That's the way he got return fire from that Jackson. Cool. Machine gun gets out of there though. Okay. Oh, that's the second Scott actually. I didn't notice that, but yeah, he's gone double Scott. A capture point is under attack. Take that. Switching sides. Where's it going? Oh, big bundle grenade, no dodge from PS3, yes. 
I will complete the cap. Still a bit of a whiff from the walking Stuka. Maybe we could get a bit creative with the uh, Kubel. Try to drive it in. Use the detection to with the target. Oh my gosh. Four barrages, zero kills. It's astoundingly bad. Major down in the middle. Here goes the 50. Strudy here doing the heavy lifting for the Werfer. Nearly getting the decrew on this. Somehow doesn't have vision there. Allows these units to charge right through. Planes coming in from PS3, yes. And the sector assault planes coming down. Quad just outside the circle, blasting them out of the skies though. I don't know if they came through for any anti-tank damage. Good bad coordination on that. Bit of a waste of munitions, honestly. Notice this reinforced repair bunker out the back. Quite expensive to save up for, but once you got it, providing great repair value for the rest of the match. T gun on the ground there. I mean, a machine gun on the ground there. A T gun also now. Panther coming in. Sherman's going to back away fast enough, but could kill off the uh, D crew AT. I could also try to steal it. Got our streak somewhat nearby. Guys have pulled a lead now though. Got a hundred points. And there goes the mortar. Nineteen nineteen on the ground can be collected by the pyros. He's going to destroy the 50 cal as well. Interesting. He doesn't really have much more room in his army for anything other than like another machine gun, so we're doing a fine choice. Team is waiting back there, Sharon trying to bait the panther in. Major artillery, I think, out the back end. No, it's the uh, B-47s. It's out of the zone fast enough. Push in for the cap behind this. Maybe the Struggy will take one more shot. Yagpans are down. How? He doesn't have a Jackson. How did he lose his Yakpenta back here? I'm, I'm sorry for missing that. Complete mystery to me. Machine gun also go down for Furio. He's jumping back in with the Panther, but he runs right into the planes. Oh, he does survive though. Very, very close call. Way too risky. Coming back in like that. The planes still have a little bit left on the clock here. The way that the attack pass is lined up. Should be coming back in now though. Target. Nearly vet two after that. Did a lot of damage to Scott again. Nearly got that cooldown bonus. How's the uh, how's the work for doing? <laughs> I'm sure that's the one. <laughs> I'm sure it's the same one. Still got zero kills. 
The one that just came onto the field's got two already. That's how it goes, right? Might be ready to go again. Oh, he's building a howitzer now as well. I think he needed to rebuild the Jagdpanzer, honestly. I think otherwise these Scots are just going to smash his infantry. He's not going to be holding up to uh, any territory. Don't think another how is the way to go. They've got four indirect fire. Big indirect fire pieces and the mortar. Building a pack 43 though, that is interesting. It's quite defensively positioned and looks like it's already under scot fire. I don't know how it's got spotted, but it's not even going to go up yet. I think that it's just trying to barrage the mortar, that's what happened and caught the pack 43 in the crossfire. Marky Rise, not that effective against the trench. At least, helps destroy it. How are we out the back? Huge scatter though. With long range shots in the dark. Just the button of name. Stuka targeting the AT gun. And the pack howie, what a shot! Gets them both in one barrage. Seems to do all the heavy lifting for the Axis right now. Which is good because uh, otherwise they'd be in some major trouble. Nothing cap. But the Allies are losing control over here. Covers the AT gun. It's one thing that they didn't do after that is swoop in and kill off the D crew weapon. Got a Jackson now, PS3S, yes, so I think it's going to have a much harder go. Trying to attack. Still doesn't have an AT gun either, so. A difficult to handle this Jackson. That's a worth it. Strange Werfer brush. Really strange. The water was targeting. Is he, t is he trying to target the Jackson with these Werfers? I, I really don't understand what they're shooting at. Some really bad shots these last couple. Earlier ones, maybe they were kind of long range, unlucky scatter. But these last couple have just been stinkers. Way off target. The kitten pushes in, forces back the Scott. That's pretty much all he can accomplish. And he's pulling a larger VP lead now. That they're going in. Jackson with the engine crate out the back. Decrease the AT gun. Could have killed off the quad, I think. Does kill off the AT gun, so... Good start there for Furio. That's a nice little kill. Especially if these guys were like an arranged team. Drop the planes down here. We keep pushing with the Jackson, but... How in the base actually gets a squad wipe? Well, there you go. Yeah, we're in team action. Can always have that coordination. The T gun down. And now the plane's called in, they knock out the Calliope. What's going on all of a sudden? Four kills from the Howie. Oh, 
Oh my! 27 kills now on the walking Stuka. That thing's been huge. Well, the Axis were struggling for a while, but that's a few good kills back to back. A T gun, Calliope, Lieutenant. Now seems like they're right back in this. The walking Stuka is starting to really get cooking now as well. These Panzerwerfers are often not that well defended though. Maybe there could be a bit of a Sherman dive after some of this rocket artillery. They see a window. He does have the recon plane of course. So it could maybe uh, get something sneaky going on. Deep, but PCS did retreat from it anyway. Jackson coming up first for where? And he's going in with the blitz. Need one more shot. He's not going to chase. I'm getting ready for a Faust. Second Jackson coming in, his teammates. Nothing them to cover up. But there's the 43. Got a shot on the Jackson, gets it low. Recon plane out from PS3S. This is did wriggle control of these victory points and uh, getting a few off the allies here. Huge amount of munitions for Furio, by the way. seen a single sector artillery activation so far this game. Might be a little bit overdue at this stage. Allies haven't really been pushing too much into enemy territory though, I will say that. What was that even targeting? Not sure. Oof. Oh man, that was a fast kill on that rifle squad. The big three Pedrins are shredding. Why did he do that? Goes for the pack how he steal with his Panzer Greens, costs him a squad. Doesn't even get close to escaping with the pack how That was a terrible decision. What a throw. Gotta be careful because that pack how he does require three models to stay crewed. So as soon as you drop a model when you're trying to go for a steer like that, it gets decrewed again. Let's be confusing. Decrewed, Rikissen, decrewed and destroyed. So it's just very hard to steal away at pack how. Get just some repairs out the back a bit. Six kills. This one's still at zero kills. You've got to be joking me. <laughs> oh no. He's a rebuilt Calliope. Going after the Pack 43. Gets to the mortar in the crossfire. Gets the decoy on that. Has kind of busted up a lot of the train, so maybe future rockets will have more success actually landing on the Pack 43. Yeah, fetch firing back here. Only up to five kills now, so it hasn't really done too much more. There's the KT for Alex. Two Jacksons for PS3, yes. Only one for small me. Now 
Nice back and control the big piece. Rebuilt Panzer Green from Furio. Is it, or do you think it's Furio? Furio? I have to call him Furio. <laughs> it's probably Fu Furio, right? Paratroopers down. <laughs> it's probably quite upset about that too. Jackson's in a good position for KT. Two man, two on the ground. Does he already have double equipped on that squad? Yeah, he does. Wow. Oh boy. The Jaeger Light's going to pick it up. Bar G43 and M1919 on them now, by the way. Extremely strong. It's the D crew, gonna a little bit of health damage on the weapon as well. Doesn't look like the allies are really gonna push in behind that though, just trying to soften it up. Camping this with the trench. In the plane here. Effective dodge of it though. Max is capping on the edge. He's healthy again. We're going to push him to the center. So Jackson's here. And the Stuggy smoke has been pretty good for Furio, by the way. Really bad scatter. One rocket here, one rocket here. Perfectly misses the 50 cal. We're at 200 points. Unfortunate. Pathfinders reporting in. Do we have a lot of Jackson's second Calliope like picked up by PS3? Yes, as well. Looks like he maybe wants to really saturate that pack 43 and knock it out for good. Tiger playing uh, very conservatively, it's not even that damaged. Right out the back, quad forcing the squad off the fuel. P3 still kind of does need fuel, so. Let's control that, not ideal. Again, the smoke out. Covering the middle. Helping uh, protect themselves against these Jacksons and Scots. Nice and vision, but the recon plane up now providing vision. Going for a low angle barrage there. And uh, the Calliope's, I think, trying to knock out the Werfer. Not quite low, not going to kill it. And the repair bunker back here, so easy to recover from that. goes down to the double Scots. Both of it three, 24, 28 kills. Oh, he's back in action, nine kills. V2. There's that pack 43 again. Right at the edge of its range. Bait them in to their death. Looks like, uh, yeah, there we go. Connecting. Cheerio, I think using the uh, attack move kind of trick once the pack for his roots packed up. Concrete bunker covering this as well. I'll try to cap it. Because of the light cover, it delays the pin. 
Get some neutralize off. 90 left for the axis. They're making a move for the middle. 43's got quite a few shots in now. Nearly vet 2. But this King Tiger really feels like it hasn't had almost any impacts. Always out back for repairs. Okay, shot down the recon plane, but a good fortune from the Pintle. Okay, catches the repairs, knocks out a Pathfinder, nearly knocks out the whole vehicle crew. He's going to have to re reinforce that. Double Calliope. Catches the Pios. Pack 43 hanging on by a thread. Second worth and not as successful though. a lot of these shots from uh, Furio is worth his kind of f f starts firing from an angle so you have to wait for the rocket rack to kind of spin around before it fires and by that time often the units have moved out of the area the extra you know second and a half delay costing him some kills I think smoking out the center with the Stug E again uh, Fulcher is going to try to run in the cap 62 points left for the Axis. They've got the planes ready to go again, but they still haven't knocked out that quad. It's camped out on the far side. Should be getting some great hits, though. 36 kills now. Steady performer this match. Sat in front of this AT, on a little long. Now, a small knee pop, both the AP rounds and take aim. Might have been able to get the kill there. Kind of baiting, but not really bait because there's nothing crewing the Pack 43 right now. Otherwise, it would be blasting these Allied tanks. Let's do a bit of a whiff. Second Panther in the build for Furio. Low angle barrage. Oh, somehow the Paris don't go down, and then the King Tiger misses as well. They are extremely lucky. That's the Wilfer. There goes the Lieutenant. Lively targeting that area again. Knocks out the 43 for good. The other piece of rock artillery getting caught. Oh, there goes the walking Stuka, the Calliope, knocking it out. Ouch. The thing was really carrying the axis for quite some time there. Just drove right back into the exact same spot with the Stuggy. Feeding a crazy amount of vet to that T gun. It's nearly vet 3 now. Here comes the second Panther. But there are so many Jacksons on the field. They make their presence felt there. Just gets blasted out, nearly goes down. Pulling the planes now. King Tiger trying to make a move, but kind of going in one at a time like this, not working out well for the Axis at all. Pushing them with the infantry now, though, if they pressure away the AT gun, could open up this Panther to do some work to. Allied planes are coming back. King Tiger's coming. Oh, goes down to the last rocket. Unfortunate there for Alex. And now the Panthers in some trouble as well. The Howie Fire not hitting much. Jackson gonna go hunting perhaps. Yeah, Panthers gonna take another pass. Playing up from PS3 as well. Cooper Wet 5, by the way, has got the suppression going to work here. Low angle attack. Is that already decrewed or.? Oh. 
Nice. Scott Barrage knocked out the Viv 5 Kubel. How sad. Calliope catches the repairs. Oh, double Calliope. And it's a calamity. All the repairs going down. Has the repair bunker left? But I think the Allies have caught. Got the. Uh, got the win there. Maybe the Axis are on AFK. Doesn't look like. Curio's doing anything. Yep. Let's play AI. That's it. Okay, pretty even uh, overall in the KDs. Calyx maybe a little bit shoddy, but not too bad, really. Yeah, it was a tug of war. It looked like the Axis were in control for a while there. That string of kills they got doing really well, but I don't know. Furio, the Werfers weren't really on point this game. Weren't applying as much bleed as they should. A lot of them seem to be targeting vehicles as well. I mean, they can do okay damage to a vehicle. But it's not really the intended use case. And it just felt like there was no killing potential from the Axis to actually knock out the allied vehicles. They had these Panthers, but weren't really used in tandem with anything. And it just allowed the allies late game to amass such a huge amount of armor. It was uh, difficult to overcome. Maybe, uh, maybe an overinvestment into indirect fire of all. You know, El how it's uh, two worthers and the walking Stuka. That was a lot. Probably that. You know, maybe you could argue the Stug was indirect fire as well, and the uh, mortar. It was a lot. But yeah, pretty close game most of the way through. Uh, just the Allies taking control late game. I feel like there may be some opportunities to kill the quad. And that would have uh, made these planes so much more successful. Most of the plane activations were medium at best. Uh, it may be lacking a bit of synchronization between both these players and the planes. Only one of them was like really well timed, I think. Got to be causing like pure chaos, just dropping these planes in, especially if they're just going to get shot down. It's not a recipe for success. It's so expensive to just be wasting. No activations on this the entire match for Furio as well. Like, surely he could have just popped it. And just, you know, even if it's only really hitting one sector, just why not? You got a thousand munitions, man. You gotta make use of that. Even if it's a terrible activation, it's better than floating 1k at the end of the game. Yeah. Oh well. GG. Well done by the Allies in the late game. Good recovery. Those Calliopes, by the way, you know, he, he rebuilt both of these. They both got to Vet 2 that late in the game. Pretty impressive. Well, anyway, guys, wrap on that. If you like your game to be cast by me, details are in the video description below. Otherwise, I'll catch you all for the next thrilling installment. Goodbye and good luck.